when you're asked to graph a circle that's in this form, this is called general form, and we want to put it in standard form, which looks like this down here, the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared. Because h, k will give you your center and r is your radius. So one of the things you notice here, first of all, I know it's a circle because the coefficients in front of the x squared and y squared are the same and they're both positive. Okay, so one of the things you want to do is get your x squared and your x terms together and your y squared and your y term together and move this plus 11 over to the other side. Okay? So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to need to complete the square here. So we're just kind of setting it up to do that. And to, so to complete the square for this, va this group of um, terms here, we're going to need to add something onto that. So we're going to put a blank there. And then we'll do the same thing with our y squared minus 8y. Plus we need to add the number that we're going to use to complete the square. And then we're going to set that equal to, um, and so if this is a positive 11, you need to subtract 11 from both sides to move it to get rid of it from over here on the left. Okay, and if you notice we're, at, we're going to be adding two things onto the left side of the equation. We need to add those same things on to the right side of the equation. Right, because you can't just add it to one side. It will no, no longer be equal. So you have to add it to both sides. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what we need to add here. And so what you do is you take the coefficient in front of the x value and you divide it in half, and then you're going to square it. Okay, so this is going to give you 2 squared, which is going to give you 4. So we've got to add 4 to both sides. Okay, this is going to allow us to factor this into a perfect square that looks like this. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take half of the coefficient of the y value, which is a negative 8, half of that, and then we're going to square it. Okay, so this is going to give you a negative 4 squared. That's what we're going to put here, which is going to be 16. So we're going to add 16 over to the right side of the equation as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to factor x squared plus 4x plus 4, and it turns out that you know, you're looking for two numbers that multiply to give you four, that add to give you four, and it turns out that it's always going to be this number here, whatever half of that middle term is, right? Because two plus two times two gives me four, and, but two plus two also gives me this four here, okay? So that factors to the factors x plus two times the quantity x plus two. So we write it like this. It's a perfect square. Plus... We need to do the same thing over here. We're going to factor y squared minus 8y plus 16. We set it up so it factors a perfect square. So guess what? It's going to be a negative 4. Because a negative 4 times a negative 4 gives you 16, but a negative 4 plus a negative 4 is going to, would give you the negative 8y there. So let's see, this will be y minus 4. So think about that for a minute if you don't see it. Okay, and that's going to equal, let's see, so 9. Okay, so now you have your equation in standard form, and you can see that the center, or the center is going to be, so if you notice there's a minus in your equation, so this will be a negative 2 for my x-coordinate and a positive 4 for my y-coordinate. And I always remember if it's inside the square, it's kind of opposite of what you, what you see there. So that's plus 2, so it's minus 2. That's minus 4, that's positive 4. Okay, and that's because of this minus in your equation. And it just happens that it's going to be like that for your other conics that you're going to be graphing as well. So here, um, r is not 9, Remember, r squared is 9, so you square root both sides and you get, what's the square root of 9? I'll just put that here for this one so you can see what I did. So r is 3. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your graph 
And remember that the center is going to be at negative 2, 4 with radius um, 3. So we go to, we click on the circle. We're going to go to a negative 2, 4, and click at that center point. And then we're going to go out three units, one, two, three, and click again. Whoops, that only went out two, so we want to go one more. Okay, and we click that, and there's my circle with center at negative two, four, with radius three. You can see it's, see here at the, um, if you go down, down three, to the right three, up three, left three, you can see that that's your circle with radius three. Okay. Now, what happens if there are some values um, like this, like there's numbers in front of your x squared and your y squared? Well, for a circle, this is really easy because the, x, the value in front of your x squared and y squared have to be the same if it's a circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go ahead and divide everything on each side of your equation by 4. Okay, so when you do that, that's going to give you, you know, to distribute this 4 to each one of these values. And so that's going to give you x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 6y. plus 91 over 4. And then it's going to be exactly the same thing after that. Don't stress about that fraction, okay? We're just going to move it over to the right. And um, so you're going to get x squared. We're going to combine those x values together plus blank. We group the y values together, y squared minus 6y, okay, plus blank equals negative 91 over 4, and then we're going to add those two values, whatever we add here, okay, so remember to complete the square. We are going to take half of this value and square it. And so this gives you 4 squared, which gives you 16 here. So we're going to add 16 over here. And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing with this negative 6. You take half of it, and you're going to square it. So that gives you a negative 3 squared, which gives you a 9. So you're going to be adding 9 also over here. And then you're going to go ahead and write those as perfect squares. So remember, this is going to be x plus 4. Remember, it's always going to be this value. You can factor it to see that that's going to be true as well, if you'd like to test that out plus, this one will be y, this is a minus 3 here, okay, and remember it's just this value, if you factored it, it gives you this. Okay, so now let's deal with our fractions, so 16 plus 9 is going to give us the 25, so we're going to add 25 plus um, the negative 91 over 4. Okay, and so that's going to give you 9 fourths. Oops, and this shouldn't be a plus here. This should be equals 9 fourths. So you basically have um, your center is going to be the point negative 4, 3, and the radius is not 9 over 4. Remember, it's the square root of 9 over 4. So the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 4 is 2. So it's got radius 3 halves, which is 
So let's go over to Alex and graph that. Okay, so negative 4, 3 is our center. So negative 4, 3, click. And then we want to go out one and a half points. 